part A. In this part of the test, you'll hear two different extracts. In each extract, a health professional is talking to a patient. For questions 1 to 24, complete the notes with information you hear. Now turn over and look at the notes for extract 1. Extract 1, questions 1 to 12. For questions 1 to 12, complete the notes with a word or short phrase. Um, so, Anila, what has brought you to counselling? So, I've been in a relationship with somebody for about six months. Um, okay. I wanted us to move forward with our relationship and, you know, get married. And he, he's not on the same page as me and it's causing a lot of tension. And then in addition to that, my mother's very unwell. Um, mm. So, I have a lot of things to deal with at home with her as well. And then um, my boss is putting a lot of pressure on me to deliver um, everything on time. And so I'm just having some trouble juggling everything at the moment. Yeah, yeah. And I can see that um, all of these combined are, are making you feel quite overwhelmed. Oh, very. And it's just really, there are some times when I just come home and I have to deal with my mother and I have to deal with my relationship. And then I have to go to work the next day and I'm having trouble with that. And it just makes me really upset. Okay. Yeah. And I'm wondering, Annette, how, um, how long have you been dealing with all of these issues? Oh, um, it's probably ramped up in the last three months, um, but I've been in, the, in my relationship for six months and my mum's been sick uh, for the last three, four months. So it's not that new, but it's, it's now starting to get worse. So Yeah, yeah. Um, so how have you been coping so far with all of these, these pressures? Not very well, <laughs> um, but yeah, I just take it day by day and... Um, yeah, communication is a bit of a difficult one. Like I said, this is my first time doing counselling and yeah. don't really have anyone else I can turn to. So, yeah, mm. it's very hard. Yeah, um, I, I do understand that it is very hard to, to seek um, support in, in such personal issues, but that's what we're here for and that's what um, we're hoping that we can do with, um, with this session as well. Um, so... Given that this session's um, very different to the other ones, I just wanted to know, you told me that you um, are experiencing some concerns with your partner because you want to move forward and he's not in the same uh, place as you and your mother's quite sick and um, you're looking after her as well so that's an area of concern for you and then you have some pressures with work. Um, so I'm just wondering if we could prioritise any of those concerns, what would the, the biggest concern be? Um, well, probably dealing with my mother and my relationship are probably quite equal because my mother is also putting a lot of pressure on me to yeah. get married. Obviously she's not well, so, um, you know, she wants to see her family happy. Yeah. yeah. Dealing with that situation is probably the number one thing for me at the moment and the work thing I can deal with because I try not to bring work home but obviously that's a bit hard too. Yeah. So when you say dealing with that concern do you mean working uh, the relationship with your mother or the relationship with your partner? Probably with my partner first with because partner. yeah I feel like I'm putting a lot of pressure on him yeah. because of what's happening with my mother. Yeah. Okay, so what we, we can do is, um, if it's okay with you, focus on that area first and we will look at all the areas that are overwhelming you, um, but we can start by working on that, that issue first, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah. excellent. Um, so we only have a couple more minutes before the session ends um, and I was wondering if you had any other questions before we, um, we go and sign the contract. And 
Um, no, just maybe in terms of the number of counselling sessions I'll need. I know you said that the first six are free, um, but obviously money is a bit of a factor as well. So what happens if I have to go over the um, six sessions? Yep. Um, and I do apologise, I said when we'll go and sign the contract, but you already signed it. But um, So if you go over the six sessions, it will be $70 after for each session. Um, and you can, like I said, you can um, continue as long as you need to. So it's really difficult to find a time for every single person and, and have a set time. So we like to see how it goes and together we can work out what the best um, time frame is for, for yourself. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Um, so if you don't have any other questions, we can book another time in next week for you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I'll, uh, do I speak to reception about that? Yeah, well, I'll come out with you and we can um, sort that out. Great. Thank you. Okay. It was lovely meeting you. Nice and meeting thank you, you so too. much for, um, for uh, opening up and, and having that chat with me. Um, and we'll focus on uh, the, the first um, topic of you and your partner. Okay, thank you. Okay, Thanks very much. Thank you. Now look at the notes for extract two. Extract two, questions 13 to 24. You hear an optometrist talking to a patient called Marcia Samarina. For questions 13 to 24, complete the notes with a word or short phrase. Now, Jane, just before we begin, can I start by asking you your age? Uh, I'm 25. Okay. And what brings you in today, Jane? What's the problem? Um, well, I've been feeling a bit tired for the past few weeks, and I don't seem to have much energy to do anything, really. And I was wondering if you could tell me what's wrong with me. Okay. Um, well, tell me a little bit more about it. Um, well, I started to get tired about four weeks ago, and it's really yes. persisted since that time. Um, and I've actually had to stop playing netball because I've, I've been so tired. Um, when it started off, I had some aches and pains in my muscles, and um, but they seem to have settled down now, and it's really just the, the tiredness that's persisting. And um, I've got exams in a few weeks, and I'm really worried that I won't be able to study properly because I'm feeling so tired. I see. Goodness, that must be very distressing for you. Yeah, it's really worrying me. Yeah. What uh, What are you studying? I'm a social work student. I see. Well, tell me, um, apart from the aches and pains that you noticed initially with this illness, was there anything else in particular that you'd noticed? Um, 
with it sort of started quite suddenly really and, and when it started I had a bit of a cold um, you know, a bit yes. of a blocked up head and a, a runny nose um, and I actually went to the doctor at student health at the university yes. and he said I just had a virus and I didn't need any treatment and it would go away um, and he didn't do anything else than that really Right, okay so at the moment, just to let me clarify again, the main problem now is tiredness. All of the other symptoms have, have settled down. Um, yeah, just really tired and I can't do anything really. Right, okay. Well, just before I actually start examining you, can I ask you a few just general questions before we get started, okay? Mm -hmm. um, what's your appetite and weight been like? Um, my appetite's been fine. I've been eating the same amount and my weight's steady. Okay, and have you been running any fevers recently? No, no. Um, four weeks ago when I had a bit of a cold, I thought I had a bit of a temperature then, um, but nothing now. Mm, okay, and um, your bowel habits? I've been regular. Regular, that's good. All right, well look, I think um, at this stage I'd like to have a bit of a look at you and um, we'll talk about um, things after that, okay? All right. Right, Jane. Having had a look at you, I think really the major things that uh, that are noticeable are that you've you've uh, got some scattered glands around your body. Okay, those lumps that I felt um, in the neck, armpits, and down in the groin regions, and you may have also noticed a bit of discomfort up in the left side of your abdomen, high up, when I was feeling. Mm -hmm. And yes. that, um, that is the site of, a, of an organ called the spleen, which is also a, a type of gland which is also enlarged, okay? Mm. So what I does think, that mean? I think all of these really point to some form of viral illness, quite possibly um, glandular fever. Okay. Um, I was just going to ask as well, are you absolutely sure it's glandular fever? Mm. It's highly suggestive, okay. I can't be totally certain um, at this stage without really doing um, some tests to confirm it, and I think that would be a good idea to do. What sort of tests are they? It's a blood test, and it will involve a small sample of blood being taken. Really, what I'll do is do a specific test for glandular fever as well as looking at your blood in general to make sure that there are no other possible problems there. And that can tell for sure if it's glandular fever? Uh, it, yes, that's correct. Right. Um, and when you do the blood tests, can you see if I'm anemic as well? Yes, certainly. Is that a particular concern of yours? Yeah, well, I've been having all those ads on the TV, you know, about if you don't eat enough meat, then you might be anemic, especially if you're tired. And I was wondering if that was my problem as well. Okay. I mean, tiredness certainly can be... Uh, one of the symptoms of anemia and I think it's justified that you're concerned about it particularly given the, the publicity that we've been having but um, I can fairly confidently reassure you just on having examined you that that would be very unlikely in your case okay but we can certainly uh, run that test and in fact I was going to run that test as a routine anyway oh, oh that's good Right. What you need to do really at this stage is rest, okay? Mm -hmm. um, there are no specific remedies that I can give you for this illness. Um, we can't cure it. Your own body will cure it by, by fighting it off, but that will take a bit of time. Um, how long exactly? Again, I can't, I can't be certain. Hopefully within the next week or two you'll be feeling a lot better, but that's something that we're going to have to keep an eye on. Um, at home, really, um, you need to keep up your diet and keep up your fluid intake, and really we're going to have to organise to meet again and just make sure that this is slowly settling with time.